Tell us more about um, about how you got into developing a, a specialty doing collection work. Have you always done collection work or did you start out as a business litigation attorney or some other sort? I've always done collection work. When I, um, when I finished law school, I didn't know a thing like, like most of us. Like all of us, yeah. Right? And I thought, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do family law, commercial law, environment, everything I could do so that Anybody who came to me, I could, I could do, um, I could take care of their case. You're, you're a, you, you're a door attorney, as they call yeah. it. You take a on any attorney. any client who walks in the door. A toaster, whatever pops up. <laughs> <laughs> but some, and I was networking with with other attorneys, and a senior told me that's a stupid idea. Don't do that. He said, find something that is difficult, arcane, and that other attorneys don't know how or don't like to do, and you'll always have work. And I thought, okay, I could do that. And so I was going to do pre-judgment um, work, like um, pre-judgment writs of attachment, writs of possession. And then I ran into my now partner who was already doing collections and it was a match made in heaven. As they say, the rest is history. Yeah, pre-judgment, uh, writs of attachment, that that would be uh, highly specialized. So this is, uh, th so you branched out a little bit from uh, from that. Uh, well, very interesting. And then, uh, you know, I do note that there, there are uh, only 11 legal specialty areas that are recognized by the state bar. And as you mentioned, judgment enforcement is a specialized and arcane area of law, but it's not one of the recognized specialty uh, areas in which you can certify or get a get a, a certified license from the state bar. Uh, should it be an area of legal specialty that the state bar should recognize, in your opinion? You know what? I think it should be, but I'm okay that it's not. It makes me more of a specialist that there are no titles. It's kind of just me. Uh, there is a a specialty, but and it's called creditor's rights, but it specifically is planted toward uh, bankruptcy. I see. Uh, it, d does much of your work bleed into the bankruptcy sphere? Oftentimes. Uh, typically, the life cycle for a case for us is to evaluate the judgment, determine if the debtor has money, and then, or assets, I should say. And so if we're pursuing people who have the assets to pay and they want relief, they typically reach toward an appeal bond or bankruptcy. So all our cases from the outset are prepared for those two eventualities. You have just listened to the California Appellate Podcast, a discussion of timely trial tips and the latest cases and news coming from the California Court of Appeal and the California Supreme Court. For more information about the cases discussed in today's episode, our hosts, and other episodes, visit the California Appellate Law Podcast website at calpodcast.com. That's calpodcast.com. Thanks to Jonathan Caro for our intro music. Thank you for listening, and please join us again.